This is how to crochet the waffle stitch. It's a quick summary. Um, I will post how to do the individual rows in their entirety after this. This is just a recap for those who may already know it and just need a refresher. But to start, you need a beginning chain of multiples of three plus four, and then you're going to add a single crochet into every single chain going across, starting with the second chain from the hook. And then this is what it looks like at the end. The coil or curl is totally normal. Happens to everybody, it should happen. Um, for row two, you're going to chain one and then add a double crochet into the first stitch. And then this is where we start our repeat. It is going to be a front post double crochet. Since we have single crochet, I'm gonna insert my hook into the stitch and out the next, and then finish my double crochet like I normally would. And then a double crochet into the next two stitches. So again, the repeats are a front post double crochet, and then one double crochet in two, all the way across until you have two stitches left in your row. Once you get to the end of the row, the second to last stitch is going to be a front post double crochet, and then the very last stitch is going to be just a double crochet. I know this is really quick um, and can be hard to follow, but this is for those crocheters who have done the waffle stitch before, probably, and they just need a refresher like I would because sometimes I just, I, I can't, nobody has the brain capacity to remember every single stitch. So instead of digging through the next two parts, you can just um, dig through this little video and jumpstart your memory. But for row three, we're going to chain one and add a double crochet into the first stitch. And then um, for the repeats on this row, it's going to be a regular double crochet and then a front post double crochet into each of the next two stitches. So where we had our regular double crochet earlier, that's where we're going to put the front post double crochet. And where we had the front post double crochets earlier, that's where we're going to add the regular double crochet. And we're going to repeat that all the way across. And then for until we have two stitches left, and then for the second to last stitch, we're going to add a regular double crochet. And in the last stitch, we're going to add a regular double crochet. Now the perks of chaining one and then adding a double crochet into the first is that you don't have to work into the turning chain. So you're welcome. Nobody likes turning chains. So for row four, um, this is going to be the same as row two, but I wanted to show you just because for row two, we worked into the single crochet row. So um, it's going to be chain one, add a double crochet into the first stitch, and then add a front post double crochet into the next stitch, and then one regular double crochet into each of the next two stitches and that's going to be the repeat for this row so essentially you're going to alternate rows two and three all the way until your swatch is the size that you want or your piece and then when you have two stitches left it's going to be a front post double crochet into the second to last and then a regular double crochet into the very last one and that's how you crochet the waffle stitch if you have any questions, uh, please let me know in the comments, and be sure to like and follow if you enjoy these kind of close-up stitch tutorials. I post them almost every single day. Bye! This is how to crochet the waffle stitch part one. For your beginning chain, you need multiples of three plus four. I'm starting with 25, and then I'm going to add a single crochet into every single stitch across, starting with the second chain from the hook. So I decided to go with 25 because 25 minus 4 is 21 and 21 is considered a multiple of 3. Um, essentially what the multiples means is that that is the number of stitches or chains you need for a repeat um, or to get the effect. And then the plus 4 covers the first, uh, first stitch, the last stitch, and the turning chain. So for this, and in order to get the waffle effect, we're going to have to work in repeats, and those repeats are going to cover three stitches at a time. So um, I hope that makes sense, but that's how it works. Then another question I get a lot is this curl that's happening. That is totally normal. Um, it happens to most crocheters. The only time it doesn't happen is if um, you're crocheting very, very loosely, or your hook is um, bigger than your yarn. So um, 
other than that, the curl or the coil is completely normal. It goes away after the second or third row, and it's not something to think, to make you think that you're doing it wrong. Most of the time, it is the, if, if you have a really, really tight curl, it could be because your beginning chain is too tight. Um, that is an indicator of that. But that is the end of this video. I will see you in part two, and uh, be sure to like and follow. This is how to crochet the waffle stitch part two. We are on row two and uh, we are going to start with a chain one for the turning chain and then we're going to add a double crochet into the very first stitch. Then we're going to add a front post double crochet by inserting the hook into the second stitch and then we're going to come out the third stitch and then we're going to finish the double crochet like we normally would. After that, we are going to add a regular double crochet into the stitch we just came out of. So we're going to skip that one and we're going to do this one. And then we're going to add a second regular double crochet into the stitch after that. And that's going to be the repeat for the row. It's going to be a front post double crochet followed by two regular double crochet all the way across. Now technically this is not a proper um, front post double crochet because we're not working around the post of a stitch. But it, since the first row is just single crochet and it's hard to pick up the single crochet post, um, this still gives us the effect that we need for the waffle part of the waffle stitch. But we're going to repeat this all the way until there are two stitches left. And if you're wondering why we have a chain one turning chain instead of a chain two, that's so that when we are working our rows, we don't have to worry about working into the tops of any turning chains. And we can simply work into the top of the first double crochet. If that is something that bothers you, um, because the edge can be a little zigzaggy because of that, you can definitely proceed to chain two, skip that first stitch, and then directly work a front post double crochet. Um, but that is, I don't know if it's going to give you the same effect. I'd have to try. If you really want to see it, I, I probably can. But this, to me, this leaves a neater edge. But if you like these kind of close-up stitch tutorials, be sure to like and follow. I post them almost every single day on my page. So now that we have two stitches left, we're going to add a front post double crochet. And then we're going to add a double crochet into the very last. And that's it for part two. I will see you in part three for row three. If you have any questions about this stitch or another stitch or would like to request something, you can leave that in the comment. Bye! This is how to crochet the waffle stitch part three. We are on row three and we are going to start this row with a chain one and then we're going to add a double crochet into the very first stitch. By chaining one instead of two or three and adding a double crochet into the first stitch, we are saving ourselves the headache of working into the turning chain when we come back around. Then we're going to add a double crochet into the next stitch and then a front post double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And that is going to be our repeat for this row, meaning you are working a regular double crochet and then two front post double crochet all the way until the end except for the last two stitches, they're just going to be regular double crochet. And I did speed this up a little bit for the rest of the row, but you can still see what it looks like. Um, and I always try to think of something to like talk about instead of just rambling. And I do have one thing, um, and that is a tip on how to get more even stitches. So if you watch my middle finger and thumb, and if you've watched a lot of my videos, you already know this, but my middle finger and thumb do just as much work, if not more, than my hook. So they are guiding my hook as it's moving through the stitches. And when I work double crochet or triple crochet or any larger stitches, they are always traveling up the stitch with me as I yarn over and pull through the loops. They also keep my work in place directly under or in the area that I'm working in. And that gives me a little bit more control. And because they're so involved, they know at this point what the right size feels like. And if something feels off, then I know I need to just go ahead and take the yarn off my hand and start that stitch over. But here we are at the end of the row. We're going to add two regular double crochet and I will see you in part four. Happy hooking! This is how to crochet the waffle stitch part four. 
We are on row four and we're going to do the same thing as we did in part two. So I'm going to chain one, add a double crochet into the first stitch, and then I'm going to add a front post double crochet around the post of the next double crochet. So just like this, and then I'm going to add a regular double crochet into the next two stitches. And that is going to be the pattern for the whole row. It's going to be a front post double crochet, followed by two regular double crochet. And then the last two stitches are going to be a front post double crochet and a double crochet into the last. I did speed through this part, but you can still see the whole row worked in its entirety. I don't know why I like the word entirety. It just sounds funny to me. I feel like I say it a lot too. But um, this will be it for the waffle stitch. Next, I think I'm doing the chevron stitch or the corner to corner. I'm not sure. I don't remember. But I hope you enjoyed this series. If you like these kind of close-up stitch tutorials, I post them almost every single day on my page. And if you have any questions about this stitch or another stitch, or you would like to request a stitch, you can leave that in the comments of any of my videos. All of my videos at this point are by requests only, so it's only things that somebody has asked for at some point. Sometimes it takes me a while to get to them, but I will get to them. Um, it just, it's just me. So, but yeah, um, I hope you have a good night and, or a good day, whatever time you're watching this. And this is the Waffle Stitch. Bye. Happy hooking.